Oh yes, there's our wingman off to the left, we'll form up with him. Yes, join me for this attack run. Fox 2, Fox 2, pulling off before I get killed. Oh, look at this, in flying formation, this is so sick. Fox 2, come on, you gotta die here. Yes, alright, that is two down. Good afternoon, you wee bastards, and welcome back to Project Wingman with Koala. Two videos in a row on this game, but you know what, I'm sick of playing War Thunder coming first on the team by double the score of second place on the team and still losing the fucking game. So yesterday in this game we were playing the Conquest mode and got almost to the end, up to the final level in one of the most epic displays of Face the Horde I've ever played in my gaming life. So today we're going to jump in the F-18 Hornet to finish this game mode off, we've got the final mission to go. I am not going to click on new game because I have a feeling that the second I do it will not save my existing progress. This game likes to punish you about as hard as your dad after searching through your internet history. And here we are, final mission to go, area 60, this is all we have. 4500 points, which seems very lackluster compared to some of the other missions, I'm really hoping that I haven't saved the least to last. Alright, let's select the F-18 Hornet, what do we want for our ordnance? I, hmm, multi-lock air to air. Maybe four more standard missiles? What do we think? I think maybe the semi-active editor. We'll try these out because they might be good facing uh, C-17s and such. That might be interesting. I've never actually used these missile types. One other thing we can do now is actually hire a second cruiser, but I'm not sure just how useful it's going to be. And seeing as we only have 13,000 credits, I think I'm going to spend it on a final mercenary fighter, which means we are now supported by two full squadrons of F-18 Super Hornets. Let me just finish my coffee so that I've had enough caffeine to kill a small whale, and uh, off we go with the mission, which is probably going to result in me dying very quickly. Okay, F-16s to begin with, of course, as always. Lock on, Fox 2. And uh, let's get started with today's uh, daily dose of self-punishment, shall we? Alright, here we go. Fox 2. We got one hit with the first missile, and there he goes. Second S-16 inbound. Never mind, he's dead by a friendly. Alright, let's load up our... Uh... I see a new interface with these missiles. Oh, we have targets inbound. Load up the uh, AIM-9X. Don't let those missiles take me out. Now, what I'm going to try and do is thin out these waves of enemies as quickly as I possibly can. I've noticed that uh, they like to pile up on you if you don't deal with them quickly. All right, we're going to stay on this guy. Actually, I don't think those missiles will track. Nope, we're going to catch him in the turn, get him with the guns. Gorgeous. Players. And here's another one of these. Uh, I learned what these are, by the way, guys. This is a modernized F-15 variant or a improved F-15 variant uh, made by NASA. Very interesting aircraft. Doesn't look like it will ever be actually used. All right, switching over to AMRAM, so this airship. Quickly put the flares out, load up the multi-lock missiles, take out some of this uh, airship's SAM sites. And egress out of the area for a second. Back around we go. Koala 1 re-engaging. Uh, get another attack run on this guy. There's another airship over there, it looks like. And we have fighters off to our left. Let's actually sweep around and take care of these guys. SU-30. And, oh, they just missed there. Nice dodge by that guy. Catch him in the turn. Fox 2. And keep dodging the missiles. Whoa, he came right past my cockpit there. All right, he's going for a split air, so we're going to merge, get on to 6. Don't want to get too low to the ground. And Fox 2. Players out. Cool, that was good. All right. Chasing this guy down. F-22 Raptor. And killed him with guns. That was deceptively easy. Uh, I have a feeling that the difficulty curve in this game doesn't quite go where you think it should go. F-18 Hornets. There he goes. Fox 2. And he's taken care of. That will be Splash 2. Oh, you little bastard. Come back here. You said you could leave. Fox 2. Get out of here. Boom. F-22 Raptor, Fox 2, Fox 2. Hopefully that'll take him down. Yep. F-22 Raptor's going down that easily really seems to shock me. I thought they would be the most difficult targets, but it seems like those F-15s are substantially worse. This guy's actually getting away from me. We're going to speed up, firewall this sucker, catch him. Oh, nope. Close to target. F-15. And one more. 
Maybe with guns. There he goes. Beautiful. Players out. There they go. And it's another F-15. Whoa! Came right for a head on then. I really wish there was a sound effect for that, like when they come that close. Okay, he's cl we've closed it in. Neither of them tracked. Slowing down. Couldn't quite lead enough. God, that is a beautiful looking aircraft. I'll put a, a screenshot of it up on up on the screen, obviously. And one more. That should be him down. There we go. Gorgeous. Right. Fox 2. Fox 2. One hit. A little bit too far away for to get him with the guns. He is speeding away from us. Alright, Fox 2. Negative on the impact. He's heading straight for his airship for cover. Getting very close to that airship there. Not quite. Okay, let's just hit him with a missile. Fox 2. No, that was ballistic. Fox 2. Let's go with a Fox 3 on this cruiser. That should take him down. There he goes. I think a friendly took him out before we could, actually. All right, more fast moves inbound. Wow, it looks like we might have a viable strategy in uh, hunting down the fighters, letting that squadron take out the airships. SU-30, Fox 2, Fox 2. I think they might have been uh, radar guided, actually. We didn't switch back to the AIM-9s in time. There we go. That should take him out. Tango down. Okay, now on to these. I want to use these radar guided missiles. One, two. Can I only launch one? Oh, I have to be locked onto a different target to launch another one. All right. Box one. Okay, looks like the uh, AI is having a little bit of trouble. That wasn't a fast mover at all. Fast mover was a fighter jet, and that was an AA site. All right, Amrams. Oh, absolutely destroyed. Okay, one AA site left on that guy. Missile incoming, flares. Up and over. Fox 2, Fox 2, and... Hmm. Take out this guy. Switch targets. Not gonna let them pile up on us. There we go. Not a chance I'm letting us face a ridiculous horde like we ended up doing last time. Fox 2. Oh! Nice hit in the head on then. Didn't expect that to land. Fox 2. Dump flares. A wee bit of breathing room right now. And that target going down. Okay, more priority targets inbound. But we're going to take out these ones first. Switch over to Amram's. Fox 3. Right, retain lock. There goes that one airship off to the right. Keep locking this. It's not letting me fire again. Hmm. Okay, use gun to take out that time site. That was quite odd. I had to actually re-lock to be able to fire again. I couldn't just fire again. Unless these missiles just take longer to reload. Fox 2, Fox 2, pull off. Oh! All right, negative, no hit. He's still alive. We hit the airship, but too far on the rear. There we go, he's taken down. Oh, wait. What is this? F-22 Raptor, Fox 2. Oh, God, how did that track us? Right, flares out. Oh! Oh, jeez, I can't believe we're still alive. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm going to get killed now. F-18, Fox 2, Fox 2. Hopefully that'll take him out. There we go. Oh, SU-37. This is where I made a mistake in the last video. I said that was a uh, Saab 37 Vigan. It is not. It is an upgraded SU-27 flanker. Oh, Jesus Christ. He came out of nowhere there. Don't want to hit him. That would be a very embarrassing death. Whoa, what the hell was that? It was like like a lightning gun or something. What the hell is going on there? Um, what the hell is that? What is on my mini map right now? What, what is that? What is that? Oh dear, I have no idea what to expect right now. Some kind of sound effect. Oh geez, what do I, what, what's going on? Someone please help, what's going on? Oh god, nope. Okay, Fox 3, Fox 3. Whatever the hell these things are, I'm taking them out ASAP. I was not briefed about this. I'm not prepared to take these on, whatever they are. F-22 Raptor switching targets. I have a feeling we leave them for a while and they will become quite significant targets. I have no idea what this yellow line on my mini-map is. Some kind of laser weapon or something. 
Blaze. Box two. Still got missiles on me. Right, box two. Is that the same F-22 or is that another one? There we go, he's down. More SU-37s. Not what I initially thought it was, which is just a different variant of Vigan or something. Looks like we're seeing some pretty upgraded aircraft here. I feel like they could have done with some T-50 Panthers or some uh, F-35 Linings. Maybe they'll be modelled in the future. Of course, you never know. This game is still an alpha. Wasn't even paying attention to the miss missile. Why is he blinking in and out like that? I wonder if that's related to whatever these uh, airships are firing. Okay, whatever this is, I have not seen this before. And this is some more fantasy elements for this game, though. That is cool as hell. Here we go. There we go, beautiful. That was some strange kind of lightning effect when he died there. I have no idea what is going on. RG, what is an RG? What could that be, railgun? Fox 3, Fox 3. And let's egress out of here before we get caught in one of these lightning beams or whatever's going on. Someone's on my 6. F-18, switch back to AIM-9s. Fox 2, Fox 2. What are these rounds that are hitting me? They've got to be real guns. There we go. Beautiful kill right there. I have no idea what these are, but we need to take them out quickly. I hope they don't take down my own friendly cruiser. Oh, jeez. Yep, yeah, got a good look at them there. I think these are real guns. That is dangerous. Fox 2, Fox 2. These are... These guys are flying in quite a tight squadron. We're going to get to the rear. Try and take them out from the back first. Flares. F-15 inbound. Couldn't quite get in there. Whoa! God, whatever this is, I don't want to get hit by it. Uh, <laughs> I am exorbitantly stressed out. But in a good way. Okay, here we go. F-15 MTO. Or MTD, sorry. I wonder how accurate these airships are going to be. I don't think they'd be accurate at this range. Railgun's not exactly guided, is it? Yeah, this is a modernized F-15 Eagle variant with canards at the front. I don't know what different functionality it would have. If it's more maneuverable, it seems to be. It seems to be about the most maneuverable thing out here. Okay, there he goes. Beautiful. Now let's try and take down some of these airships. I have no more of these uh, multi-lock missiles there, so we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Fox 1. And we're going to launch the second one. Fox 1. I wonder if any of our squadron uh, is down. Looks like we got a bunch near us. Oh, yes, there's our wingman off to the left. We'll form up with him. Yes, join me for this attack run. Fox 2, Fox 2. Pulling off before I get killed. It wasn't a fast mover at all. It was a uh, AA site or whatever these sites are on these cruisers. Nah, I can't hit him like that. There we go. That should be a good angle on him. That should take him out. Yep, one down. Okay, we got the other three of these things left. Seems like they've increased the firepower. Need to hit the command post of this cruiser. Oh, missile. Okay, hit on the cruiser. We're gonna go up, rope it up. Players. Oh, look at this, in flying in formation. This is so sick. Box two. Come on, you gotta die here. Yes, all right, that is two down. I'm gonna lock on this one. Whoa, missile came very close. Possibly I could have gone off and finished that one off with guns, but that's all right, we'll re-engage. There goes that airship. Looks like he's pretty close to going down. Just need a couple more hits. Take out that command module. All right, get underneath him. Guns. Fox 2. Yes, and that's another one down. All right. What? Two left. Fox 2. Oh, don't crash into me. This burning corpse. Look at that thing. Our physics is uh, taking a break when that thing goes down. <laughs> okay. Come on, can we lock, please? Have I not got any missiles left or something? That's not good. Ah, I have no missiles left be besides these uh, AIM-7 Sparrows. That is not what we want. I don't want to get in close when they've got real guns though, so we'll use what we've got. Box one. Right, now that we've taken out all the enemy fighters, I'm just going to stay on this attack run. Finish this guy off. Come on. Oh, very close to hitting his tail there. Yikes. Friendly nearly hit us. We're going to egress out of the area. Go for altitude. Break the sound barrier, and away we go. Hey, we're set up for a final attack run here. Back down. This rear gun is about to die. Fox 1. 
Now, of course, we should be able to fire these before getting a strict lock and still guide them onto their targets. Yes, all right, there goes the second to last airship. Last one left, we're gonna continue our attack run. He's already heavily damaged. This should be the last shot, right? Yes, there he goes. And that's it, mission complete, we did it. Oh, oh wow, that teamwork right there. Friendly's damaged him, we took him out, beautiful. Total victory. Absolutely beautiful. Funny, the uh, difficulty ratio seemed to curve down right at the end there when it was no fighters left, only those airships. Possibly it should spawn in some entire squadrons of F-22s and uh, later variation F-15s to try and make this ramp up a little bit more. I know last video was incredibly stressful because of how difficult it was to not die. But this got quite easy towards the end, actually. I'm, I'm ever so slightly disappointed. Loved the real guns on the airship. That was really, really cool. And the formation squadron they were flying in. I just wish there was more, to be honest. More fighters, more interaction between us and our friendly squadrons. That would be really cool. Something I'd definitely like to see worked on in this game in the future. Well, lads, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you did, you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Come follow me at all the links in the description below. Make sure you come and join the Koala Tree. And if you wish to support the channel on Patreon, there's a link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Tomorrow, we are going back to War Thunder. But until then, keep your bagpipes close to hand. Keep your kilt firmly on. And I shall see you, lads, next video. I say a wee thank you to these lads for supporting me on Patreon. DA261, Latvian Wolf, Geesley Gadarsen, and Dark Recon, you lads are bro. If you wish to join them, come check out the link in the description below.